Hey guys, this is the XRP Cowboy. Hey, this is Billy. You know what no one's talking about? The Hinman docs, the emails. I mean, we're all talking about them and how, you know, we've got, you know, Ripple execs talking about when these are released, but what they're not saying is, is the, real, the real answer. And it tells a story. It would be easy for something to leak out. Um, but what we got to understand, we've been saying this now for a year and a half, two years, that the idea behind this lawsuit is to not give clarity to the space. It's to give it to Ripple and XRP so everything else is at risk. Investors, especially with a lot of money, do not like risk. It's always about the path of less resistance. XRP will be the first crypto with utility and regulative clarity. Pretty much the Bitcoin, it, it, the, uh, the real Bitcoin, let's call it. What Bitcoin couldn't do, payments. Dine, designed and created out of its short Bitcoin shortcomings. Bitcoin's inflationary. Ripple is deflationary. Point is, is this. Um, what they're not saying is, Ripple doesn't want these emails to get out any more than the SEC. Because I believe what's in these emails is simple. It may give clarity to other tokens, which is why Ripple is leveraging these emails for XRP. And the SEC doesn't want that out. And guess what? Brad Garlinghouse is a shark. Make no mistake, you don't get to where he's at by being a nice guy in a pretty fucking face, okay? He doesn't want him out either because that might give clarity to the rest of the space. And he wants the path of less resistance to flow with liquidity into one coin. And that is XRP, the standard. This is what it's about. No one wants these fucking emails out. No one. We just want to leverage them to win. I have a feeling in time we'll see this was all by design. This whole lawsuit and everything. The banks always win. And what did Brad say? We're partnered with the man. The banks. They're going to win. Just saying. You will see. My dreamers. And my fucking roadies know already.